2007. Miss Ellie, Sybil or Dorothy? No, I don't. No. Seen it? Not the faintest. No, not faintest. Alistair Darnley. He's Scottish. Yeah. Well, Sybil's 40 Towers, isn't it? Well, yeah, Sybil 40 Towers. Miss, Miss Ellie's Dallas. Dean Dallas. Dallas. Dean. Dallas. Dallas. Um, um, I think Dorothy's rather long name seen it. for a cat. I mean, Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy. Come here, Dorothy. Yeah. I would say Miss Elliot. I think it could be Miss Elliot or Sybil. <laughs> Are they going through a very rocky patch? Eggheads. What's the name of Alistair Darling's cat who moved into 10 Downey Street in September 2007? Sybil? Sybil. We, we, we haven't got the faintest idea. None of no us have idea. seen this at all, so Sybil. Sybil? Yeah. yeah. No idea. CJ knows. It's the right answer. Yes, you guessed it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stage struck. Ooh. Thought you were going to have this question to win it, but this one to put more pressure on them. They really are going through a torrid time at the moment. Stage struck, can you tell me, apparently responsible for over 130 deaths in the 19th century, what type of animals were the man eaters of Savo, now housed in a Chicago museum? Lions, crocodiles, or tigers? T S A V O. Now housed in a Chicago museum. The man eaters of Savo. Lions, crocodiles, or tigers? I think it's I think it's lions. Yeah. yeah, I uh, well, we right, don't uh, really know. Sure to be it's sure. Not crocodiles, given it's Chicago. Um, I think yeah. it's lions. Um, but having just said that. It could be tigers because I remember seeing a program some years ago about 19th century India, man eating tigers, but Savo doesn't sound Savo doesn't very sound Indian or. Tigers are more likely to be man eaters, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The way of man eating tigers, yeah, not man eating lions. Tigers. Is that your answer? Yeah. Is it tigers? <laughs> Gone for it? Tigers. Well, you started with lions, thought it might be crocodiles, and well, they all have a. Uh, Killed people over the years. The man eaters of Savo are lions. Oh, lions, which was your first thought, yeah. wasn't it, Phil? <coughs> lions. So, well, it could be a bit of a turnaround there. Eh? Eckheads looking at another defeat, but uh, chance for victory in their own hands if they can get this. Eckheads, Alan Smethurst, who won an Ivor Novello Award in 1966 for his song, Have You Got a Loit Boy, was better known by which name? The Singing Postman, The Singing Milkman, or The Singing Dustman? Alan Smethurst, who won an Ivor Novello Award in 1966 for his song, Have You Got a Light Boy? Was better known by which name? Do you like my accent? Oh, that was, yes, that yes. was actually, that was... My yeah. granddaughter could do it better. Oh, the, <laughs> she lived there. It's the singing postman. Yeah, you knew that, aren't you? You're smiling now. It is the right answer, the singing postman, which means, eggheads, you've won. Just... As Daphne just said that just after the wobble over Alistair Darling's cat. But uh, stage struck, great performance today, great performances in those head-to-heads, uh, really, really discomforting the eggheads, I think. And